for joining us. I'm Liz Collin. A cry for gun control across the country today, from Washington, D.C. to Chicago to Philadelphia, even here in Minnesota, young people are leading the charge for change. A pivotal moment in the March for Our Lives was a period of silence for the victims of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Since the time that I came out here, it has been six minutes and 20 seconds. The shooter has ceased shooting and will soon abandon his rifle, blend in with the students as they escape, and walk free for an hour before arrest. Fight for your lives before it's someone else's job. Joining the D.C. March today was a group of students from Henry Sibley High School in Mendota Heights. Jeff Wagner went with them on their journey. These students are on a mission to make history. What do we want? Gun control. When do we want it? Now. By impacting America's future. The energy of these kids is going to change the world. We're thinking about marching. We're thinking about going out there, getting our voices heard. Shirt, all sides. Take that you. Thinking about making change today, baby. The teenagers are from Henry Sibley High School. And teamed up with even more students from the Twin Cities for the March for Our Lives rally in Washington, D.C. Who are we? Minnesota! What do we want? Change. Let's go! They carried their messages straight to the Capitol, joined by hundreds of thousands of people devoted to the same cause. I'm light on my feet. I just like, I can't believe how many people are here. I'm just proud and loud and proud to be out here with our signs and just showing that we care. They listened as survivors of school shootings spoke about ideas to prevent the next one. Derek Dean carried with him a sign highlighting the victims of the Stoneman Douglas and Sandy Hook shooting. Six years in between, nothing really has changed, but now things are going to change because of kids like that, students like that, brought us all together. We know what we want, we know how to get it, and we are not waiting any longer. Today's rally brought upon countless emotions for the students of Henry Sibley High School, but near the top was gratitude, for it was nearly $30,000 in donations that helped make this entire trip possible for them. I am endlessly grateful that they took their time and money to donate to us. What do we want? And it all started thanks to Joe Campbell, a Henry Sibley graduate. My hope is that they go back and make a difference at our capital and uh, at, the, at the ballot box. We can and we will change the world. In Washington, D.C., Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.